Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing this evening? I just realized when I was leaving the house that I hadn't been charging my battery. So I also have a battery from last night in here, but I don't know if it's fully charged or if it is dead. <laughs> so I have no idea how long I'm gonna be able to vlog tonight. It's just gonna kinda depend on the batteries, we'll see. So anyway, um, it is 3.17 a.m. I was gonna do a live stream earlier tonight, but I uh, fell asleep and then I didn't wake up when I wanted to wake up. So I did no live stream tonight, which I wanted to do. I was real excited about doing it. It doesn't seem like a Saturday night. It seems like a, I don't know, it strangely feels like a Sunday night or a Monday. It just feels like just a regular night of the week. It doesn't feel like a Saturday night. Alex had some stuff he had to do earlier today and then he went and got a facial and then he came home and he was gonna go out to dinner with Sarah somewhere. They were gonna go downtown and then he wanted to go out afterwards. And so I was going to go out to dinner with them and um, then Sarah said that she didn't feel like going out and then Alex didn't want to, like his other friend that he was gonna meet up because she didn't want to go out to, she didn't want to go out afterwards and I didn't want to go out afterwards. So we were gonna go downtown and then I was gonna drive Sarah and I back and then he was gonna go out with some this friend of his. Um, she was doing something with her family. I think she was having like some kind of Thanksgiving or something. So she wasn't gonna go out and so Alex was like, I just am gonna stay in. He was like, it's rainy, it's nasty. So he has literally been watching TV all day since he got home. And um, we've just been kind of like hanging out and talking. And I filmed a Peterisms video that I forgot to upload. And so it's ready to go for tomorrow. And then I did a review video um, of the 2019 BIC out advent calendar. And then I ran to Meyer and I got coffee. I don't have my coffee in here anymore. But I do have this soda that I got. I guess it's still kind of good. I was going to get a Diet Coke anyway, so I'll just finish that. But, um, yeah, it was just a super relaxing day today. And we spent, like, the majority of the day online <laughs> looking at trips, trying to go somewhere for New Year's, um, that is warm. I have not, like, I have for years, years upon years upon years. I can't remember, honestly, the last, I was sitting here thinking about it, like, the last time that I have not been in Indianapolis for New Year's. I think every year that Alex and I have been together, we have been in Indianapolis. So that's at least 11 years of being here. And then... I think, I just think I've always been in town for any, for New Year's. I don't, I can't remember. I've always said I wanted to get like a cabin or I wanted to go somewhere warm and be like on a beach for New Year's. Um, and I've never done it. Like I've, I've always been here, you know? And I don't know who said this on my blog, so I'm sorry that I don't remember who you are, but you had a very pivotal uh, impact on our decision making today because somebody said the way that you start your year, the way that you go into the new year, and I mean, I, obviously I've heard this before, like if you kiss somebody on New Year's, you're gonna have romance the rest of the year and all that kind of stuff. But somebody said the way that you go into the new year is the way that you spend the rest of the year. And I don't know, for me, like that, real, it really hit a chord with me because I was thinking about like, a, traveling, because I want to travel throughout the next year, and I love to travel, and also just doing new things, and being spontaneous, and trying all that, so anyway, so after <laughs> mixing the dates a thousand times, because here's the trouble, right, is that week of like after Christmas and the first week of January is probably one of the most expensive weeks of the year to travel to somewhere warm. I mean, 
we looked at Mexico. We looked at the Dominican Republic, and I know the Dominican Republic is not safe right now. <laughs> I can tell you that doesn't make it any cheaper. We looked at Aruba. We looked at Grand Cayman. We looked at the, all through the Caribbean. We looked everywhere trying to see, like, what we could get the most, how to get the most bang for our buck, but not spend a ton of money. And, um... Some places were having Black Friday sales, and the, the problem is that to fly anywhere at that time, you know, we're used to going to Miami or Las Vegas where you leave at 6 a.m. and you're there by 9 o'clock, right? So you get a whole day. Like if you fly into, like, let's say Los Angeles, or Los Angeles, Las Vegas, and you get there at 9 o'clock, you're at the hotel by 10, you're at the pool at 10.30, right? So you get an entire day when you're there. But a lot of these places that we were looking at, it, uh, the days that we were looking at at first, um, and we were trying to like change them by a day or two, because um, Alex had some commitments of things that he has to be here for, it was like we would fly in at like four or five in the afternoon and then leave before noon. So it's like you lose a day there and you lose... Like, you lose a day that you get there, and you lose a day getting back. So, we were like, well, what's the point then? And even going, you know, if you're, I mean... So, anyway, we mixed and matched and all these things. And literally, like, 45 minutes ago... Well, Alex, I got up to go vlog. And Alex got up, and he was, like, taking the dogs out. And he goes, is it... Like, it, at this point, it was 2 o'clock in the morning. So, I guess it was, like, an hour ago. He was like, is it 2 o'clock in the morning? And I said, yeah. <laughs> And he goes, I thought it was like midnight. He's just been laying there watching one episode of TV. I can't remember what he was watching. He told me some Colombian show he's watching on Netflix. But um, so I was like, I'm going to go check these things out one last time. And I switched the dates again. And I was like, this can't be for real, right? Like that these rates are that good. I mean, it was literally like... Today, in all honesty, when we were looking, we could not find a trip for like six or seven days that was going to be like at somewhere that was kind of nice for like under like six or seven thousand dollars. And I was like, I just we cannot do that. Like that's it's just ridiculous. It's like that money. There's just we don't have it right just not to spend on a trip and we want to redo the house and stuff. So I said, I'm going to go down there and I'm going to go check the dates again, whatever. What are the what are the furthest, you know? like dates that we can do and so I was going down there and I don't know if like they switch at like midnight tonight like the the air the flights and stuff but all of a sudden like the flights that we had been looking at like drastically dropped like drastically drastically dropped and I was like oh my god this is crazy so then we started looking at um some of the hotels that we had been looking at and um all of a sudden, I was like, oh, this is doable. So we booked a trip. And um, we're real excited about it. I think I'm going to save it until we go on the trip to say where we're going. Um, to make it kind of a little, <laughs> a little exciting on the vlog. Because we literally looked everywhere, you guys. I mean, to tell you, we looked everywhere. Do you know, like, right now, I will tell you this. There are a lot of deals for Europe. So if you're wanting to go somewhere and you're a travel person like we are, and you want to go to, like, Paris right now, it's super, super cheap. You can fly to Paris um, from, the st like, from the States, from several places in the States, and stay at this Paris a Novotel. Um, which is where we just stayed at the one in Miami, which was pretty nice. And it's like $450 a person. And that's for like five nights. So there's some pretty real, there's some pretty reasonable deals. Uh, cruises right now are like they're having unreal Black Friday deals. Um, we have looked up every article of travel deals, Black Friday travel deals, Cyber Monday travel deals. And apparently Tuesday is Travel Tuesday, but this was the thing. If we waited till Tuesday to see what deals we had, we might have missed some of the Black Friday deals. And so I was like, if we don't book it now, we're gonna lose it. Like a lot of these places, like tomorrow is the last day that you can book it, and they're booking up quick. So, and then some of the places that we wanted to try were just like outrageously expensive. So, I'm, we're pretty excited. We're gonna get out of here for a little bit. Of course, I always worry about pee, pee you know, like every time we travel, but. I 
think he'll be okay. He was so sick yesterday, but he is much better today. We got him um, chicken and rice today. And um, we didn't get to the vet in time to, um, so he was out of like, he only has a little bit of his food left. And so I needed to go to the vet today. And so we got him some chicken and rice. So he was real excited about that. So we mixed like half of his food. We're trying to make his food last throughout the weekend. We have like a can and a half of it left. So we got him some chicken and rice today to kind of like uh, soothe his stomach out a little bit. And, um, so he was real excited about that. And I think that might have been what made him feel a little bit better is that he got some chicken and rice today. Um, but he was running around and being his normal self today. And he was so excited. He like ate through that chicken and rice real quick. He, uh, he just cannot eat any of their food and he goes over and he like, you know, so this is how we feed them. We put like his plate down in the kitchen and then we put Tucker's plate down, like in the hallway by the bathroom. And then Boo Radley, we feed in the, uh, his little like house down in the basement. You know, they're great. So that they're separated, because if we don't separate them, they'll eat each other's food. And so PP takes a couple bites of his food. And if, we, if this, and what's interesting is if we feed him before we put their food down, he'll eat his food just fine. Like he likes it now. Like we fought and fought and fought and now he likes it. But he likes the pate that's like uh, sweet potatoes. So yesterday, and we think he might have gone over there and done it the day before too. He was like eating some of their food. Um, well, yesterday we know he did because he was sitting there eating it with Tucker. Like he went over there and ate it. Like I said yesterday. And I just think like maybe that food is too rich for his stomach now because the other food that he has is so bland or something that his stomach's just not used to it or whatever. But man, he, that poor little guy, he had diarrhea all yesterday. So, but today he was fine and I think he got it all of the system. And then when he had the chicken and rice, he was fine after that. So, and then we have like still food of his until I want, I just wanted to get a bunch of food so we didn't have to worry about the rest of the week, but I didn't get there today. So we've got like another can of we have like a can and a half and so we mixed some of it with the chicken and rice and then um so I think we have like a can left. I think that was like half a can so we have like a can left and then on Monday I'm gonna have to go and get more food for him his food is expensive his food is real expensive but that's what you gotta do I think between the medicines and uh, the diet that she has him on and all of that, like when all of that is going well, he seems fine and we just have to watch him when he eats so that he doesn't go and eat off their plates. If like if, if Tucker or Pee Pee goes down to where Boo is eating and tries to eat off Boo's plate, Boo growls so we know it because Boo's like, like Boo's real protective of his food. So we'll hear him down there and he'll go, Rrr. but if uh, PP goes over and eats Tucker's food, we don't know it unless we're sitting right there watching it because Tucker just lets him eat right off the same plate. <laughs> He's so sweet. He just lets him eat off the same plate. So anyway, but the chicken and rice, I think helped him a lot today. And he was excited because he got to eat some chicken and rice. He would eat chicken and rice every single day, but the vet doesn't want him doing that. So that was that. I'm trying to think of what else. It has been like rainy and nasty for, it seems like just days now on end. It's funny because, like, anybody that you talk to will be like, well, it could be snow. And I'm like, I wish it was snow. They're like, do you really wish it was snow? And I'm like, yeah, at least snow's pretty. This is just wet and gross. Do you hear it right now, rain? I mean, it's pretty, but how fun is it in December or Christmas season? Not at all. On the uh, Christmas station right now, Chet Atkins is singing Park the Herald Angels Night. 
Well, that was weird. My lip balm that I had on underneath there was the coffee. <laughs> and then I just put the lip smackers over it. Well, it's December 1st. Well, you're watching this on December 1st. It feels weird. I can't believe it already that it's Christmas time. I went home last night and I watched, I was so tired, but I watched, oh, uh, well, I started watching that Let It Snow. Well, I mean, I started watching it, but I tried to, like, finish it. I'm like, I was probably, like, 20 minutes into it before I was at the part where Joan Cusack is in it. I love her. Um, but in the book, it's, they have this, there's a tinfoil guy that drives this truck, and in the sh movie, I don't know how big of a part she has, because I just got to the part where she picks up this girl, but in the movie, it's played by Joan Cusack, and I'm trying to, like, really enjoy it, but I was sitting there last night, and eating some of my hummus and all that kind of stuff, and I was like, um... I'm gonna watch Dragula season one because Dragula season. So I finished Dragula season two and three on Netflix. Dragula season one is on YouTube. So I went and I started watching it on YouTube, which is funny because now having watched season two and season three, like season two was pretty good. It seemed like better than a YouTube series, but not as good as like RuPaul's Drag Race. Like as far as like the quality, excuse me, the quality of it. But season three was good. Like, season three was, like, filmed well, and the quality level was good, and all that kind of stuff. I kind of, in all honesty, liked the cheaper kind of version of it. Like, season two, I think, has been my favorite so far, the way that they filmed it. So, anyway, um... But season one is literally, like... <laughs> like, it's kind of... Oh, I don't know. I mean, I think it's well done for, like the resources they had, but it comes across as kind of like low rent, but I kind of appreciate it. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm on the second episode. I think there's five episodes. I don't know how they're going to do it because they have 10 queens, but I think there's five episodes of Dracula season one and um, I'm really enjoying it. So I'm going to finish that. And then also finish Let It Snow. And then I want to start watching a Christmas movie or a Christmas cartoon. Every Oh, I didn't even look and see if you guys commented. I'll pull in here somewhere and see. Um, I'm going to read a Chris, or I'm going to watch a Christmas cartoon or a Christmas movie every single day going forward towards Christmas. I think between now and like the 15th, I'm going to try to watch ones that I haven't seen before. And then, um... The 15th to the 25th, I think I'm gonna try to like watch my favorites. I think that's what I'm gonna do. My leg is itching. So, <laughs> I know some of you when I say this are gonna be like, oh, Peter, oh my God. But, um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna, to, on Monday, <laughs> I'm gonna attempt to get back on some kind of structured eating schedule. Translated, that's diet. <laughs> For our uh, little vacation. <laughs> I wish like some fantastic book that I literally could not put down would come out around the holidays. Like, I wish Dan Brown would put out another book right now that I could read on vacation. But that probably won't be happening. I have no idea when his next book is going to come out. I haven't seen anything about it. This has seemed like, honestly, like a really long weekend. Like, I mean, it has seemed like a really long weekend. <clears throat> you know, because we had Thanksgiving, 
and then did Alex work the whole day on Wednesday? I can't remember. What did we do something Wednesday night? I don't even remember anymore. And then that was third. We had Thursday it was Thanksgiving, and then we went Black Friday shopping, and then Friday. I mean, just the last three days have seemed so long. And then we have all day tomorrow, too. And Alex and I have a bunch of stuff we're gonna try to do around the house tomorrow, so. Um, and plus we have brunch. Uh, we we're supposed to go out to eat with my dad and my stepmom next weekend, but I guess they needed to change it because of something Alex talked to my stepmom. They needed to change something that they were doing on Sunday, so we're gonna do it the following weekend instead, which is fine. I've said this a lot on this channel, but like, that I've really, really worked in the last year on getting to a point of peace and serenity. And I think that's brought, like that spiritual peace and serenity has brought me like a clarity as well of my life. And You know, I was talking about this in my Peterisms video today that I'm so low on gas, but I'm gonna try to wait and go way the other direction and um, get gas over there where I usually do because I know it's cheaper. But um, I was talking about this in my Peterisms video today. You know, like the last year for me has really been about doing like some pretty strict inventory and evaluation and I still, in the next month, like one of the goals that I have with my sponsor that we worked out was that I want to sit down and do um, like a total kind of cleaning house thing of looking at all of the things that I've looked at already in the last year. And, um, you know, just everything from like the last 20 years. And do that this month, kind of going forward into the year 2020. And, um,. But I've really been spending the last, you know, couple days on, well, really like the last, I would say, couple weeks thinking about what I want the next year to be on because I have been so focused on, oh, it's going to stop. Hold on. Okay. I can see it out of the corner of my eye turning orange. Um, anyway, you know, I really spent the last year very focused on it, not just, you know, inventory, and I think I throw that word around a lot because I know what it means when I think probably other people don't know necessarily unless you're in sobriety. But, you know, just taking uh, inventory of who I am, the good and the bad, and what things I want to change, what things I want to work on, who I was, you know, 10, 20, 30 years ago. What things do I want to get back? You know, there were, uh, you know, I think when we talk about inventory and evaluation, often we always think about like maybe the negative things, you know? But like one of the things that I miss about myself was that, you know, like I've been thinking a lot about like who I was 30 years ago with my high school graduate or my high school reunion coming up and stuff, you know? And that's been a part that I've really been kind of like evaluating. And, you know, I think 30 years ago, <clears throat> 25 to 30 years ago, <clears throat> I was very free spirited. I think um, I was very creative. 
I was really into photography. I was really into art. I was really into, um, I wrote every day. You know, I read every day voraciously. Um, you know, I was just, I think my life match my soul, if that makes sense. And I think that, <clears throat> you know, as you get older, I think to some degree, you know, and your life gets a little bit more serious and you have bills to pay and I don't know, like I know a lot, I guess that's not true necessarily. I know a lot of couples today that I feel like live very fun, true lives of who they are. But I think to some degree, you know, like we kind of sell out a lot of us, I, I can only speak of myself, but I feel like that to some degree that we kind of sell out along the way. And I don't necessarily today feel like a sellout. I feel like I'm getting back to who I was then. But I think it's like, you know, you grow up and then it's like you have bills to pay and you taxes to pay and, you know, it's like, and then you have to do this and then, you know, there's a wedding to attend and a funeral to attend and it's like, you no longer can kind of be this free spirit, liberated, kind of colorful, soulful person that you are. But when I meet those people, no matter if they're, you know, 27 or 77, I'm so attracted to their vibe today, you know? And I feel like every once in a while, like, I feel like I meet people like this all the time and they always have very creative, fun jobs, you know? And, and I feel very, very blessed to be on YouTube and to, you know, have this just very kind of fun job where I get to do what I want to do on here and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I've really been thinking, like, what I wanted to do next creatively. You know, it's like Alex has focused so much attention on his Instagram in the last couple years. He loves it. He, you know, and Alex, if you follow his Instagram, he's very into, um, he's very, very into fashion. It's just funny because he's texting me right now. He's very into fashion and he's very into, um, you know, like the look of the day and whatever. And that's not necessarily what I want to do. Like, I do love the fashion stuff and I would like to do that. You know, I'm not going to lie. Like, that would be fun for me to, you know, put a look together and take a picture. Like, I follow several of those people that do that, you know, and there's actually... There's probably a group of like five or ten guys that look similar to me and are were they're like probably ten years, fifteen years older than me that have these like huge Instagram accounts where they are literally their like fashion Instagram accounts. And I just think that would be something that would be fun for me to do. You know, like a mix between music, fashion, and, you know, I don't know, art on my Instagram and turn it into that instead of it just being this, you know, 500 days of selfies, which is basically what it is. I mean, I'm just going to call it out for what it is. I know that, you know, but I just don't know how to be very creative and stuff like that. And, you know, um, hold on a second. I knew he was going to send me this eventually because I saw this on Instagram today. He, he just sent me this uh, link to the Pussycat Dolls uh, reunite and they do the song React because he is a, he and his friends when I first met him were like huge uh, Pussycat Dolls fans. In fact, uh, when I put the video together for him for his birthday and uh, when I was showing all these pictures of he and his two guy friends, the one in Dallas is one, the one that we're gonna go see when we go for the wedding. They played that one Pussycat Dolls song and this was like their song back in the day. I can't remember what it was. I actually didn't have it on my iTunes, so I had to download it. Hold on a second. Let me see where it is. I'll know where it is because that J-Lo song was he and his um, cousin Maya song, so it'll be right next to that. Hold on a second. Oh, I won't be able to find it. Oh, I guess I could just look it up. Pussycat Dolls. Artists. Oh, I just pulled the psychedelic first. When I Grow Up. When I Grow Up. Do you guys remember that song? Oh my God, they loved that song. And Paparazzi by Lady Gaga too. Those were like their songs. Anyway, um, you know, I was really thinking lately about what I want to do with my Instagram and I really want to enjoy it and thinking about every day posting a picture but having it be a mixture of like books and music and art and me and 
fashion and I really want to have fun with it, you know, and that's like one thing I really want to do going into 2020. That's like, um, kind of like the next fun thing that I want to do, you know, cause I love, you know, like as much as I talk about like social media can be toxic and stuff, which I really truly believe that it can be, um, at the same time, I enjoy a lot of it, you know, and I, I've said that on here before. I've been completely forthright with saying that on here that I enjoy social media and I really like Instagram and I really like Goodreads. Those are my two favorites. Well, well Goodreads is really hard to, I mean, it's books and it's people updating you on like what books they're reading and where they're at in the books. And I find books over from Goodreads. So it's, uh, I was going to say Goodreads, but I mean, it's, there's, it's, I can't imagine it getting real toxic over there. I've never witnessed it, so I don't know how it would be. Um, but, yeah. But anyway, to go back to what I was saying when I started this. So I have, like, some things I want to do, you know, in um, 2020. I have for a long time, I have a friend of mine that's an artist, I have for a long time wanted to write a children's book about Boo, Tucker, and Pee Pee, and like this adventure that they go on, but I'm kind of afraid to start it, because I'm afraid if I start it, then um, I don't know that, like if something happened, I don't know that I how I would feel about that. But I have the whole I've had the whole idea in my head for a long time. It was funny because the other day we were talking to Alex's mom when we were on the way to Edinburgh, and you know Alex's grandma is getting older. She's 89 years old, which is crazy to believe when you see her and she's sitting there, you know, drinking like, oh my god, my battery is dying. I swear to God, if this is all I, the battery that I have, and this video is going to only be 30 minutes long. But I do want to say this really quick. You know, it's hard to believe that when she's sitting there, she's drinking a cup of coffee or a Modelo or something, you know, and she's dancing with everybody else and she's 89 years old. But one of the things that his mom said, because she's planning a trip for them to go to Canada to visit, like, these friends of theirs that were also, like, their doctors when they were growing up. And it was a friend of his mom's or his grandma's. And so I said, and then she was talking about a project that she's starting with her mom like Alex's grandma and I said oh that's crazy like you're starting this project with her and she said yeah she said did you know that if you have something that you're working or something to look forward to or you have something that you're planning to do that people live longer um, when they have projects that they're trying to complete and I had never heard that before and I thought that was really kind of an interesting thing his grandma's pretty healthy as it is but um but you never know with people right I mean um so he was she was like yeah she was like so she was like, I always try to plan stuff and have stuff for her to look forward to and get excited about. Okay, I'm gonna um, stop this and change the battery and hopefully you guys, this other battery isn't gonna die and it's fully charged so I can vlog for a little bit longer. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Usually if the, I'm waiting. Usually if the new battery doesn't have uh, enough power in it, then it will, uh, It'll show up right away. Somebody asked me in my review video today, they said, why do you wear a cap inside the house? I mean, can we just talk about this hairdo for a second? That's why. But like, I thought that was kind of interesting. I, and I wondered if it was like maybe somebody that's not from the United States. Like, is that a thing? Like in other countries, you don't wear caps inside the house. I mean, I know here like, um, you know, like it, certain places that you go, you don't, you know, you take your hat off out of respect. I understand that. But like in my own house, like sitting there filming videos and watching TV, I didn't know. I was interested in that comment. Like I thought, well, that's an interesting comment. I've never gotten that before from anybody. Um, anyway. So yeah, I have some things that I want to do in the year 2020. Can you believe that it's 2020? It seems so crazy, doesn't it? Oh, man. How do I get out of here? I'm like trying to find my way out of here. When I grow up. Now I got that song stuck in my head. What are the things that you want to do? I years 2020 so I'm, I was thinking about this with like the travel 
that we're doing. So we're gonna be going somewhere in December, January now. We're gonna go somewhere in February because we're going to the wedding in Dallas. March, we're going to Miami for Ultra Music Festival. April, we're not going anywhere. Well, I'm not going anywhere in April. May, we're going to Las Vegas for Electric Daisy Carnival and just to sit by the pool. And then in June, I'd like to go somewhere for our birthdays. But that'll have a lot to do with some of these cars that like ride so close to the lane. I don't know when I think about that. And then June for our birthdays, I would like to go somewhere. And then August for our anniversary, I would like to do Las Vegas again like we always do. But since we did Las Vegas in May, we might not want to do that again. Because I'd really like to go back to San Diego to see Fufu and Jesse again. So we might do that in August and go early. And then, if that's the case, then I would like to fit in Susie, and maybe October would be a good time to go see Susie, or in the summer sometime. Um, we'll just have to see. That's not gonna be a long trip. And sometime I have to fit in Mel, too. So I don't know when I'm gonna be able to do that. April might not be a bad time to go see to see Mel for a couple days. Mel, we need to talk about that. <laughs> because here's the thing, is it seems like it's so far away, but before you know it, it's here, right? And then I'm trying to, we're trying to save money in a, like a special account because we really want to do like Thailand or Bora Bora. Alex really wants to do Thailand. And um, I really want to do like Fiji or Bora Bora. And those are expensive trips. So. We've got a couple years. I think that would be you know, like, when I, you know, I don't know when I'm, my, like, I'd like to do one for my 50th. I just really honestly don't know that I can do that flight. Like, I just do not like to fly, and especially over water. And that kind of scares me, in all honesty. I mean, I'd do it if I had to do it, but I don't think I'd like it. Like, apparently this battery is somewhat charged to you guys because it's not, I think it might be fully charged because it's not flashing, so. But I don't like to fly, let alone over long periods of water. Alex wants to go to Hawaii too, so maybe we could combine that trip with Hawaii. I don't, um, we'll just have to see. I wonder how long of a flight Bora Bora is from Los Angeles. Does anybody know? I mean, if it's like, <clears throat> like I could do here to Los Angeles, that's like five hours, and then like Los Angeles to Bora Bora. Like that's not bad, you know? We could, if we split it up. Because I don't think that, like, Los Angeles to Hawaii is that long. I don't know. I did that when I was a kid. I don't really remember it. I don't remember the flight or anything. I was so little, though. That was went with my dad. When my parents were separated. I hardly... I mean, I don't... I remember going, but I don't remember... But Alex really wants to go to Hawaii. His big, like, trips are... He wants to do Hawaii. He wants to do a lot of places in Europe. We both want to do like Spain and Portugal. I mean, I don't really have any interest in, in 
I know it's horrible, but I just don't. Like, we have some friends of ours right now. Some of our best friends are in um, Paris. I don't have any desire, really, to do Paris. I've done London, so I mean, I've done it a couple times. And the countryside that I don't, like, if I, if I, if I didn't go back, I'd be completely fine with that. If I did, I think that would be great, too. Um, my interests are kind of different today than they were back then, so I don't know. Um, in what I would want to see. Um, I'd like to go to Italy. I would like to do that. But I would like to go to like the southern parts of these countries where it's warm in the summer. Like I'm just such a beach person that for me, like if to not go somewhere where it's warm and kind of like, I don't, like for me, that's what I really enjoy. And who were we just talking to? We were just talking to somebody the other day and they said that they booked an Alaskan cruise. Maybe it was Alex's mom. She booked an Alaskan cruise for she and her mom. I don't know. Maybe it was her. I can't remember who it was. Um, but I just like going to warm places, you know? I would be completely fine for the rest of my life just going to the Caribbean, you know, Mexico, Miami, Las Vegas. I know that that sounds cheesy, but I totally would. I don't really have a lot of bucket list places. Like, I would love to go to Fiji, Bora Bora. But other than that, and I know that it's stupid, that fear of flying keeps me from wanting to go these long distance places. Um, but it does, in all honesty. You know, there's not really any place that I am dying to see. I don't know why that is. I just, I, I have no idea. But I really don't have any place that I'm just like, I have to go see before I die. Like, there is just like something for me about being on a beach to crystal clear water. <clears throat> you know, I mean, Ma Miami was fantastic recently when we went down there. Um, I mean, the fountain blue was beautiful. It was gorgeous. The, the water was clear. The beat, it was warm. I mean, that was such a great trip. You know, like, I'm fine with all of that. Like, I could just, that I, I could do that, you know? raining. I just realized it right now. It actually feels like October. It doesn't feel like I mean, the leaves, or a lot of them, are still like orange and red, and they really haven't fallen yet. And uh, it's just wet out. It looks kind of like Halloween, really. A lot of the leaves have fallen, but a lot of them haven't. You know, we had that one snow. No, we really haven't had a whole lot ever, you know, we haven't had anything since then, but we haven't had, um, what do you call it? Like another frost or anything, we just had that one. I think Tucker might have that reverse sneezing that Boo Radley has. Boo Radley hardly ever does it anymore. But now Tucker does it every once in a while. I'm kind of almost wondering if it's not their breed because I've never heard Tucker, I need to call the vet. And, well, I'm going there on Monday anyway to get food, but I've never heard Tucker do it before. And just recently, like within the last two days, he had like, he was like sneezing, but it was like, <laughs> he does this like thing that's like exactly the same thing that Boo Radley does where it sounds like he's gasping for air. But that was when I took the vet in and she played the video for me and it was the exact same thing. She's like, yeah, it's reverse sneezing. So I'm almost kind of wondering if it's not the breed of dog and that they have this reverse sneezing thing they both have it. Because I've never heard Tucker do it before. So I can't imagine that all of a sudden, and Boo Radley hasn't done it in forever. So I can't imagine that he just developed it at 10 years old, you know? 
don't know. Tucker's so sweet. He's always my one baby that's up late at night. PP is asleep underneath the blankets. Well, sometimes they're all three of them up. Like if they're up, they're all like if they're all three of them up, they're just like sitting there like looking at me, and then I tell them a story. I like make up a story or something. <laughs> I know they don't understand it, but it's for me, not for them anyway. And they just kind of sit there and look at me. It's so cute. And then I go, okay, time for bed, because they know they know like certain words, like go to bed. They know that, and they all kind of go to bed. Or if we say lay down, they all lay down. But typically, Boo and Pee Pee are asleep, and Tucker, like, at the end of the night, like, I can see his little head just sitting up, like, in the dark. I can see the, sh you know, like, and he's just, like, sitting here, like, and I go, and, because we call him Tukey, and I'll be like, Tukey, Tukey, what are you doing? And he'll be like, <laughs> he's, like, looking to see what I'm talking about. He's so sweet. I love those little guys. This cream soda leaves a lot to be desired. I'll just tell you that much right now. It is not real delicious. I don't know why I got it. I wanted to get a root beer, and then I saw this sitting there, and I was like, my dad my dad says root beer funny. How does he say it? He's like, root, root beer or something. I don't know why. He, I said something to him one time about it. He goes, well, it's because I'm from northern Indiana. I'm like, okay, Dad. Everything else you say is completely fine except for root beer. Oh, he says poor funny, too. He says, like, poor, poor. I don't know. People always say I have a southern accent. I don't hear it. But anyway. Um, but I was going to get the root beer. Oh, my God. This Aldi is open. They just put this Aldi in where Marsh used to be. I want to go in here and look at this thing. I've never been to an Aldi. Now, some people said it was an Aldi. I have never heard anybody call Aldi, Aldi. But apparently, like in Germany, somebody said that you call it Aldi, or I don't know how. Somebody said, it doesn't look very big. Look at that brand new grocery store. It's tiny. Yeah, it's not big at all. Is it a small grocery store? Why is it so small? Coming soon, Aldi. It looks really small in there. I said to Alex the other day, I go, have you ever been to Aldi before? He goes, yeah, when I was in college. I go, um, because they're going, they're popping up everywhere. So there used to be this grocery store here in Indianapolis called Marsh. And then Marsh is, the Marsh grocery store closed down. This is coming soon. It hasn't even opened yet. So, um... JRT, who's that construction group? I've never heard of that construction group before. JRT, people in tech readings, general contractors. I've never heard of that construction group. But anyway, it's so weird seeing that where the old grocery store used to be there. I love that grocery store. I love that marsh. But anyway, I said to Alex, I said, have you ever been to Aldi before? And he goes, yeah. And I said, when did you go there? Oh, Panera Bread is gone. Oh, because it opened up down there with the drive-through. Kind of everything's changing. But anyway, he said, "Yeah, when we were when I was in college, I go. You went to Aldi when you were in college." And he was like, "Yeah." And I go, "Why?" And he goes, "Because we were poor and the food is cheap in there." I go, "Okay." Now I've heard that people that it has really good deals. Is that true? And he was like, "Yeah, it has really good deals in there." I was like, "Okay, we're gonna have to try out the Aldi." He was like, what, for our weekly grocery shopping to not cook in our kitchen? <laughs> I could use such an ass. For not cooking, I am somebody that literally goes to the grocery store every day. I'm getting ready to go to the Meyer here in a second because I am obsessed with this stuff. It's like this cheese dip. I don't know how to explain it, okay? It's like this cheese dip, but it's called street corn dip. And it's kind of spicy. It's kind of a lot spicy. And it's really, really good. And I like it better than hummus. But the thing is, if you eat too much of it, I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like, if you eat too much of it at one time, it kind of starts getting a little gross. I don't know how to even explain it, but I love it. It's so delicious. So I want to get some more of that. But I have hummus at home and then I need to get chips. Those are the two things I need to get at the Meyer. 
but I already went to the Meyer earlier today. If you don't watch my review channel, you might want to go watch it over there this month because I am um, doing a giveaway every single day over there. On uh, my, I don't know how many days of Christmas or whatever I'm calling it. It's every day until Christmas Day. And I think I'm going to do like Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I'm going to give away like really good. Um, I'm going to try to give away like really good presents those days. I mean, it's not going to be like $500, don't be expecting all that, okay? But, something nice. somebody that reached out to me this week to do a review well so it's part of like a favorites thing kind of or another video I had reviewed part of I, their product and so they reached out to me and they were like we would like to send you like our Christmas edition of this and or their holiday edition and I was like because I love this product anyway and um, so I'm really excited. So they're going to send it to me and I'm going to do a review on that review channel. So I'm excited about that. I have so much fun on that review channel. It's so much fun to do that channel. <sighs> okay, gas is really cheap gas. I was waiting until it was like 2.43, but over here it's 2.36 at the subway, so I'm going to get gas here. So I'm almost on empty anyway. I don't want to get out of the car. <laughs> Do you ever feel like that when you have places to go and people to see? Okay, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Well, I couldn't even fill up my whole tank because the thing kept on stopping, 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 stopping. So, I got, I'm at a half a tank now, which is fine. Get me through a couple days. But I was so frustrated about it. And then I wanted to go get something to drink, so I went in and I got a Mountain Dew Mary Mashup because there was really nothing, I couldn't find anything. I don't know why I like those all of a sudden, but I do. But anyway, can I just tell you, I feel sorry for these third shift people that work at gas stations. Like, every time I go into a gas station and I talk to these, like, there's this, well, at the Thorntons that I go to, um, the guy that works in their third shift, he's so laid back. I love him. He doesn't let anything bother him, but I don't usually come to this store, this, it's Speedway, but whenever I go to these stores, I'm always like, how are you doing tonight? Oh my God, I'm having the worst night in the entire world. This is the night that all the trucks come and then I have to put the stuff everywhere and I'm the only one on third. I mean, it's always just like the same thing. If you are a gas station owner, put two people on third shift, okay? Because they can't be doing all this stuff, cleaning the store and all this kind of stuff. And then it does not feel like a Saturday at all. But anyway, putting all this stuff away, I don't know why you wouldn't have two people on third shift anyway. It seems kind of like if you're going to have two people on a shift, that seems like the shift that you would have it on because, I don't know, third shift seems kind of like a scary shift to me to work alone. You know what I mean? I don't know that I would like that. These gas stations around here, I mean, literally right off the main road, get hit and robbed all the time, constantly. This woman that used to work at the gas station that I usually go to... She was probably, oh, I don't know, five, ten years older than me. Nicest woman in the entire world. She had been robbed three times, okay? There are police officers there all the time. Constantly there. I 
And I just think it's because it's such an easy store just to roll into and roll out. That's why it happens. I need to stop drinking so much soda. I've been like drinking a lot of soda lately. They were playing this song in there. I think it's that Colby Calais song, which I like her song Goldmine, but it was that, na 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 you know that song, whatever. I can't think of what it's called. Goes to my toes in the end of my, is that Colby Calais? You know that song? Now it's like, I can hear that. Da, 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 da. I get songs stuck in my head so easily. Can you guys believe that I'm coming up on Three complete years of vlogging every single day. Every single day. Um, if you have watched every single vlog on this channel, will you let me know? Put it in the comment section below. If you have literally watched every single vlog for the last three years, It seems crazy to me. I wonder if I can look and see. I want to look this up really quick. If I can look and see. There's a way to do it in the creator app. To see how many total hours are... Well, not... like It's probably going to show me viewed, not filmed, though. Let me see. Peter Vlogs... Da -da 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 -da. Discovery. Do you know what's interesting is the playlist right now? 2018 is doing better than 2019. That's crazy, isn't it? That's interesting. Um, fifteen percent is eighteen. Here's my audience. Fifteen percent is eighteen to twenty-four. Forty-two percent is twenty-five to thirty-four. Twenty-two percent is thirty-five to forty-four. Thirteen percent is forty-five to fifty-four. Uh, fifty-five. Uh, four point point nine percent is fifty-five to sixty-four, and point seven percent is sixty-five and above. United States is the top country with 80%, then Canada at 5%, then the United Kingdom with 4.5%, then Australia, and then Germany. 95.2% of you are women, and 4.8% of you are male. I don't think it's going to show me how many... The average view duration for the last 28 days is 26 minutes. So in reality, I should be keeping my vlogs shorter. I should be making them like a half an hour. Would you guys rather if they were shorter like a half an hour or do you like them longer? Put it in the comment section below. My likes versus dislikes is 95%. So that means you guys like me. <laughs> Thank you. My watch time. Are you ready? This is going to be crazy. Lifetime on this channel. Watch time in minutes. 92 million minutes, you guys. Is that not so crazy? That's 1,533,333 hours. That's crazy. Anyway, I love this channel. I'm gonna um, go over to the Meyer and end this vlog because I wanna go in there and get some of that uh, delicious corn. 
whatever it's called. But anyway, I'm going to read a couple of the comments while I'm over there because I haven't done that in a while. Are you guys ready for Santa Claus to come? What do you guys want for Christmas this year? What are your big hot holiday items that you really want for Christmas this year? I don't think I really want anything. Audible credits. <laughs> That's what I want. More Starbucks cards and coffee. <laughs> Isn't it when you get to the point where your life is that simple? I do think I want more car washes because, which my dad gets us every year anyway, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, but I want I need to start taking my car like and getting it washed, and I need to do a better job. Like it's clean in here, there's no trash, but I need to do a better job of like vacuuming it out and stuff like that. So. For some reason, this side always has like some dirt on it. Like when people, I think it's like Alex brings it into the car, but like on this side never does. So I need to, there's a really nice like car wash place over here. Um, this is where my dad gets that. I think it's Mike's, you see Mike's car wash? I don't know what it's called anymore, but this is a sparkling car wash or something. My dad, this is where he gets us the car washes from, but they have these sweepers on the side. They have like steam backs and all kinds of stuff that are really nice. I just need to bring my car over here. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. We'll see. Da -da 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 -da. Crew car wash. That's what it is. They have like these intense like sweepers and vacuums and stuff. drumstick dash is like this run that they do here it's like this half marathon or something and I've known so many people that have gone and there's gone there are so many people that have gone it there was a billboard up there for it but I didn't hear anything about it this year I think I heard like one person say that they were gonna go to it and that was it Ta -da, da -da, da -da. quiet tonight, aren't I? I'm not even like in my head really thinking about things. I'm just kind of like blank. I just don't have a whole lot that's going on. I, you know, I was saying that like, you know, talking about like going into 2020, but I think it's, you know, I don't, if you've watched my vlogs in the past, you know I'm not a big believer in um, resolutions. I'm more in a, I'm more of a believer in goals and setting goals for yourself. Um, and so, you know, I but I do want to have a. I always go into every year, and I usually do it as a sobriety year. You know, in all honesty, I go into every year as having a clear vision of what I want to really focus on in the next year. And you know, I, you know, really think about those things, and I vocalize it to Alex and to Tanya and to my sponsor. That these are the things I want to work on in the upcoming year. You know, um, and I really want to do that going forward. I also want to do more like, I know this is going to sound corny, but like I've kind of gotten away from doing these things that like just simple things that like make me happy, like getting a pedicure. Like I used to do that on a regular basis with Tanya and I haven't done that in a while. Like just those things that make me happy. I want to get back to doing some of those things, you know? Um, buying flowers, fresh flowers for the house and stuff like that. I just have kind of gotten away from some of that stuff <clears throat> and I want to get back to it. Okay, let's read some comments on the vlog because um, I haven't done that in a while. I don't know if I'm going to have a hard time. Okay, Madison said, if you have Disney Plus, I suggest watching I'll Be Home for Christmas. Is that the one that with the guy from Full House? Or not Full House, but uh, what was that show where the guy was behind the fence? 
Somebody said I love Christmas Vacation. Oh, this is because I asked you guys what are your favorite Christmas movies. Did I ask that again tonight? I don't know. Um, do you have lockers on your Jeep? It will do wonders in the snow. What do lockers mean? I don't know what that means. Oh, Julie said, I watch all of your channels and love them all. I've been watching for years, but only started commenting a year ago. You encouraged me, especially since you say you read them. I got really excited to think, actually take the time. Thank you. There you go, Julie. Um, so thank you for watching my videos and keep on leaving comments. These are like new comments from the last hour that I haven't even read. All of the other reindeer. Oh my God. Um, so, uh, Lisa said all of the other reindeer is one of her favorites. I love all of the other reindeer, too. Like, do you guys know what that is with Drew Barrymore? And so she's this dog, and, um, she thinks that, like, they're... They're canceling Christmas because all of the other reindeer or something... I can't remember how it's... But anyway, she, he... Santa Claus says all, A-L-L, -L, of the other reindeer, but she hears it as olive, like O-L-I-V-E. It's one of the cutest. I almost removed the comment by accident because I was scrolling down. It's one of the cutest uh, cartoons ever. White Christmas. Yes, Kenzie, I totally agree with you. Aw, oh, Michelle, I'm praying for you and I'm sending um, positivity your way. Hunter said, I think people romanticize blizzards because you get stuck with your loved ones. Hunter has watched this channel for a long time. Hunter, you have been watching this for a long time. Thank you so much. Allie said, you're coming to Dallas? When? We're like, there. we're going to be there for like two days. Um... Oh, somebody said something about, okay. Maria said that her dog had diarrhea and she went to go get the science diet ID from the vet, the best food to stop diarrhea ASAP. That's what uh, he ate some of that and then it was fine. Um, oh, Lori. Lori shared about her husband and her son passing. Thank you so much for sharing that, Lori. thinking of you. I love when you guys share really personal stuff on the vlog um, in the comment sections. I think it's really... I was... I was going to say cool, but I think it's really... It becomes a safer place, I think, for everybody then, you know? And it makes it also safer for me to feel like I can share things I want to share on here. Um... I usually sit down like once a day and I like read through all the comments, but these are comments that just came out the last couple hours. Um, Lindsay said, vegetarians are desperate for attention. Oh my God, how many turkeys lives were spared because you don't let the freaking tongs brush against an animal protein rolling my eyes to the heaven. Um, no, that really wasn't it at all. And I don't really ever talk about being a vegetarian except for on here because this is a channel talking about my life. I am a vegetarian. I don't eat meat. And so the, the waiter was being really nice about the whole thing and saying, here, you touch it first so that after it's touched the tongs or after the tongs have touched the meat, you know, then you don't have to eat it. It's not attention seeking. It's just, it's how I choose to live my life. Melissa said, I haven't ha ever had a desire to go to Indiana, but now I want to go in the hopes of meeting you. Aw. P.S. Forgot to mention this is an earlier vlog, but um, we all should pitch in and buy Peter the... No, do not buy those flowers for me. She said the venue of floor flowers for Christmas. Do not buy those flowers for me. As much as I would love to have those flowers, they are much too expensive, I think, for flowers. If I'm a multimillionaire someday, I'll buy them for myself or Alex, but he won't, he could care less about it. But, um, do not buy those for me. Those, that's, they're way too expensive. 
Um, okay, Kelsey said, I want to hear what she has. I was so disappointed with the Let It Sn Smell movie, especially with how great the Hulu adaptation of John's first novel, Looking for Alaska, was. The Fault in Our Stars was also great. I don't know what happened with this movie. Okay, I have not watched Looking for Alaska. I'm so excited now that you said that because I read that book as well. It wasn't my favorite John Green book. If you watch this, you know, but... Um, but if, it, if the book, if the movie is a good adaptation of it, I'll enjoy it. But the looking, uh, Let It Snow was horrible. Um, Deb said, where do you live, Peter? And then Anne-Marie doxed me and said, Indianapolis. And I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> As if everybody that has watched this for a long time doesn't know where I live. Um, T. Colgan said, Peter, thank you for your vlogs I've watched for almost two years and never comment, but you truly mean the world to me. I just want to say, th aw, thank you so much. Gigi said, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Um... She put the longer version of the song, though. <sighs> Jesse said, oh my god, you're going to EDC! I'm going to EDC! 2021. I don't know that I'll be there for 2021. <laughs> um, all these people saying that they would drive here just to meet me. That's so sweet, you guys. <laughs> you could ask Caitlin and Rachel. It really probably wasn't that exciting to meet me. So everybody's being they're everybody's saying I want to meet you. I want to meet you. It's so nice. Um. Darlene said it sounded like maybe the dogs are cold at night. Put a few blankets on top of the bed for them to crawl under to get warm. They will love it. Okay, you know what's so funny about that is Boo Radley and um, Pee Pee like they crawl under like two, we have like two blankets so we have this huge like you know the down comforter thing that we just bought the blue one and then we have this like brown blanket over it and then i also put this little blue like fleece blanket at the end for pee pee and they boo and pee pee crawl under all of that right tucker is like on top of it he won't go underneath it um Kelly said, I'm a Circle K manager. I didn't think you'd ever drink our coffee, but they did just revamp everything. Do you have the cold brew where you got? I don't know if they have the cold brew, but I do like hot coffee sometimes. But I will tell you that um, I don't know if people think I'm that big of a snot when it comes to coffee or not. I love gas station coffee. I really, really do. Like I'm in, in all honesty, probably sometimes I like gas station coffee better than I like Starbucks coffee. But the real, well, actually, there's this place in Indianapolis called the Monon Coffee Shop, and they have the best coffee. It's like lo, it's like organic coffee, free trade coffee. But the problem is, is that um, here I'll read some more comments uh, tomorrow or the next day. But I'm gonna stop for right now. But thank you guys for all your comments. It's really, really sweet. Um, Linda just uh, commented 18 minutes ago, and she said, I remember the day when you could fly from Houston to New Orleans for $49. 2000 plus, $2,000 to 3000 to fly to Cancun is too steep. You think? I think it's real steep, okay? And ridiculously uh, steep. So, we ain't doing it. But anyway, um, but if you change up days on places, I can tell you, you can find some cheaper things. But anyway, I was going to say, the thing is with gas station coffee now, some of the gas stations that I go to, to get a cup of coffee there is just as expensive as it is to go to Starbucks. So it's like, Dunkin' Donuts is actually pretty cheap compared to all of them when I've like gone through and done reviews. Excuse me. So it's like, if you're going to pay like $4 or $3 for a cup of coffee, at a gas station, why not just go through Starbucks? You know what I mean? Because it is kind of probably like a higher end coffee. Anyway, I don't know. But there's a Sarah Lee truck out here right now. Here, I'll show you. Do you see? And it's making me want a piece of bread. <laughs> like a piece of lemon bread. All right, you guys, I'm gonna get off here now. I hope you guys are having a, I hope you are having an amazing Sunday, an amazing December 1st and beginning to December. Think about the things that you would like to work on going into 2020, the things that you want to do in 2020, the things that you want to accomplish in 2020. We're going to make this our year.
going into the new year. I'm so excited for it. And um, enjoy your day. Do something fun today. Do something that will relax and rejuvenate you. Relax and rejuvenate you. And um, make the most of it. Remember that you're exchanging day of your life for it. So do something that you look back on and be happy about or be proud of. Life is not a dress rehearsal. And if nobody else has told you this today, I love you. And for those of you out there that aren't going to hear that from anybody else out there today or if you're really struggling or you're really having a hard time or maybe you just need to hear it I love you and um, make sure that you look at yourself in the mirror every single day and you do, do your daily affirmations it helps you feel more confident and makes you feel better about yourself and we go into each day being positive today is going to be an amazing day you are worthy you are important and you are beautiful and you are you matter and today like I said is gonna be great it's gonna be a great day you say that to yourself every single day in the mirror you say it eye to eye and um, most importantly make sure that you pass it on to somebody else and let them know how important they are to you you guys are important to me I appreciate you watching my vlog every single day I love you and I will see you tomorrow bye love ya